Hello everyone, uh, my name is Amit. I am the founder and CEO of GMAC Intelligence and I welcome you all to this session on the fundamentals of training AML models for computer vision applications. Uh, so uh, with a show of hands, how many of you have trained an uh, AI model before? All right, cool. And how many of you thought that it was pure magic, like the fact that it works after some training? Um, well, I think, so we're gonna try and demystify some of that today. And uh, this talk is kind of roughly divided into uh, three sections. So we'll cover some high level concepts around training. Then we'll delve into the engineering math which makes training possible and feasible. And then finally, we're gonna look at uh, the practical aspects of uh, training. So I think uh, most of you are familiar with the vision AI tasks that are shown on this slide. So these kind of range from classification to object detection, to segmentation, to uh, caption generation. And so what is common across these tasks is that the input is always a visual input or an image. And the output kind of depends upon the task at hand. So for example, in case of classification, the output is a label telling you which class the image belongs to, whether it's a tiger or a lion or a cow. Now when you go to object detection, you kind of go a level deeper. And you want to figure out within that image what is the ROI, the region of interest where the tiger or the uh, lion is. And that's indicated using the bounding box that you see. And uh, when you go to segmentation, you want to know at a pixel level whether this pixel belongs to a particular class or an object. And then uh, a cluster of that kind of uh, stands out as a segment that you see there. And in case of uh, caption generation, uh, you basically analyze all the pixels and you come up with a text or you generate a text line which uh, explains what is happening. So in this case, it's saying a tiger is sitting on green grass. And as you can see, the complexity of the task is kind of increasing as you move from classification to object detection to segmentation. And uh, some of the parts may be reused. And so, it's, uh, <clears throat> so what is uh, making all these visual AI tasks feasible today uh, is what is called as deep convolutional neural networks. And these are very popular in implementing all visual AI uh, applications. And the reason they are so popular is um, they are capable of learning the low, mid, and high level features directly from data. And previously this was not possible. People had to explicitly program this. And uh, as you can see on the slide here, a deep convolutional neural network has multiple layers, anywhere from five to thousand. And this can be convolutional layer or fully connected layer. And each layer has blocks, like you know, a convolution block, um, pooling block, batch normalization. And we'll go over in details in the next slides. Uh, but I think the key thing here is that at the output, depending on the task, so in, in this case, this is a classification uh, deep CNN. So you take an image of a dog as an input, and at the output, it is uh, you know, telling you the probability of uh, whether that image contains a dog or not, uh, and across all the classes. And you can see that uh, the probability of dog is about 0.7, which means it's a dog image. And um, so essentially, this is the power of deep CNN. And when we say uh, CNNs are capable of learning these parameters, what are these parameters? So these are essentially the parameters that define the convolution block, for example, the kernel parameters or the biases or weight in a fully connected layer. And so we're gonna look in more detail in the coming slides on how to train these. 